What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. Today I'm checking out a product that I've never seen anything like it before. It's basically a fully functional and portable projector that happens to have uh, a microphone inside that you can use as a karaoke machine. Now I see where I'm going with this, right? So no one directly is gonna be searching for a product like this, but whether you're in the market for a projector that it would be nice to also have the karaoke feature or whether you're looking for a karaoke machine that for that price, you're also gonna get a projector, this video is for you. But just like everything else, this has its own pros and cons. First, let's get started with the unboxing and I'm gonna tell you all about it. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to this channel. In this channel, I review techs, gadgets, do unboxing reviews and tutorials. So if you think you like videos like this, you may wanna hit that subscribe button and when you turn the bell notification on, make sure to change that to all because that's the only way you'll be notified for all my future videos. I'm putting these videos together. It takes a long time. So before you forget, please give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm. Let's get started with the unboxing. So this is the BP-1K karaoke projector, full featured projector. It is portable Bluetooth 5.0 speaker. It comes with a microphone and a three hour built in battery. Let's see, what else do we have here? 12 watt speakers. You can still also play movies and photos. 100 LED lumens, smart device mirroring, massive screen size up to 100 inches. And like I said, it comes with a microphone. And here you have a little bit more information. If you wanna have, for example, uh, a card reader, what aspect ratio you get, you can use this as a speaker and the different input and output that you have inside the box. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. This is definitely a very, very unique product. I don't think I've seen anything like it. You have either projectors or you have karaoke machine, but the fact that this has uh, all that built in and it comes with a microphone is pretty interesting. So you get uh, an owner's manual, this is a beefy cable. I guess that's for the microphone. And the microphone is actually very, very heavy. Uh, we'll weigh this in a second. Uh, let's see what else do we get here. This is the charger. This is the USB type A to micro USB. And you have, looks like a USB type C to USB type C cable. And this is the portable projector itself. has a bit of a weight to it. The fit and finish definitely seems premium. You can see the two speakers on the two sides and obviously this is the projector lens itself. Uh, you have mounting option at the bottom. It has these six rubber legs to help it not move. And these are all the different ports you have. Um, HDMI, this is your power obviously. This is USB-C. It says it's used for mirroring. USB type A. Looks like this is a focus ring you have right here. If you want to hook this up to um, a headphone or maybe an external speaker, you can do by right here, a reset button. This is basically your power button. And then uh, this is your TF card input. So let's go ahead and use this and see how bright it is. Take a look at some of the features. I have no idea what I'm gonna expect, which makes this super fun to try. So it's been about a couple of weeks since I've done the unboxing because I wanted to be able to test this properly before I can give you my final conclusion. But first, let's talk about the experience so you have an understanding what this is and who is this for. So at its core, it's basically a projector that happens to have a DSLR connection for basically a high quality microphone that you can use as a karaoke machine. Now, it's a weird space to be in because um, no one is in particular gonna go outside to look for a projector that has a mic on it. So if you're out to try to look for a karaoke machine, most of them, they cost average about a hundred bucks. There's some cheaper ones for like 60, 70, 80 bucks, and there's some more expensive ones around 250 bucks. All of them, they have one thing in common, and that is they're very large. And they only do one thing, and that is a karaoke machine. At this, for almost the same price, you essentially have a karaoke machine because you can download whatever app you want on your phone, a karaoke app, and just mirror 
the image into this and then use it that way. So it kind of, you have a karaoke machine and when you don't need it, it is a small projector that is literally the size of your, um, your hand. And I think that is a very interesting space to be in. The downside of it is, like I said, no one's just gonna go directly search for something like this, but it's important to know that this exists out there. So here is about my experience. Number one, you need to understand this by itself does not offer any karaoke software or applications inside nor you can download anything to this. What you would need to do essentially use the, uh, the Play Store or the App Store um, or Marketplace and download whatever uh, karaoke app you want and there's several out there. Uh, then um, we're gonna talk about the audio quality, the microphone quality and the video quality. So the video quality. If the room is pitch black, and as I'm talking, I'm gonna put some uh, images um, on the screen as I'm talking about this. So if the room is pitch black, obviously you can see this thing is really, really bright. And there are three different settings. You have eco setting, standard, and boost when it comes to the brightness. In real life, you don't play karaoke, especially if you have guests in your house with the room pitch black. You're gonna have some light illumination because they're guests in your house or friends in your house and you don't want them to trip over stuff. So I tested this also with the brightest level in, um, in a lightly lit room in the afternoon. And be honest with you, it was bright enough for you to be able to go ahead, use this as a karaoke machine. So when it comes to video quality, this is, you need to understand what you're getting it. This is I think about 150 bucks or so. There's only so much you can expect out of a video quality of a projector that costs about 100, 150 bucks on top of it with everything else that comes with. Having said that, the quality is just fine, uh, but for the price is good. I think the resolution is 720p. It doesn't say what it is on the, uh, on the box, uh, but it says supports 1080p. And typically when they say support, 1080p, that means the resolution is probably like 720p, so keep that in mind. But then we're gonna talk about the microphone and uh, the audio quality. Sound actually gets really loud and it, it's uh, loudest volume at 100. The sound does not get distorted and it sounds actually good uh, for something this small. One thing about the audio uh, video quality I forgot to mention is this thing has what it's called uh, a zero offset projection, I think. Zero offset projection is you can have this literally laying flat on the table and it's not gonna project open like this. It's gonna project from this surface flat up, so it's gonna project this way. So I could easily set this on the floor uh, against a wall and you're gonna see the projection on the wall, not on the floor. Hopefully I can get my point across. This gives you all the cables necessary for you to be able to charge and connect to any Android devices. For Android devices or anything with a USB Type-C, it has a USB Type-C to USB Type-C for you to be able to do a full mirroring. However, you need to keep in mind, for some reason it doesn't have an HDMI cable, but uh, you need to have that unless mine was missing. But uh, in order to connect your Apple devices with a lightning port, you need a lightning to HDMI adapter. I'm gonna put a link to this down in the description as well. Like I said, pretty straightforward, HDMI to the projector, on this side, HDMI to the adapter, and then the adapter has a lightning end that will go into the iPhone. This probably is the most impressive projector speakers I have seen, especially at this size and this price. And I get it because the main focus is if it's gonna be a karaoke machine, you wanna make sure you have good uh, quality as well. Let me test the mic so you guys can see how it sounds. It sounds like a typical um, 
karaoke uh, microphone. It has a bit of an echo to it. I couldn't figure out a way to turn it off, but this is how it sounds. I'm not gonna show you any footage of me singing earlier, but I just want to test so you guys can see how the microphone sounds. This, this is, is a microphone a test. test. Hello? 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 So as you can see, it has that bit of an echo. So I wanna try to real quick uh, demonstrate how the, um, the zero offset works. So as you can see, I can set this literally on the ground and the bottom of the, the image is right here, right on, on the screen right here. All right, it's time to talk about pros and cons and wrap up this video. Uh, so there's a lot I like about this. So uh, I took some notes so I don't miss anything. Um, number one, I really like the size and overall quality where all the buttons are. I like the uh, the, the little finish, uh, textured finish they have at the top. Still shows a little bit of a fingerprint, but easily could be wiped off. The speaker quality must be the highlight of this projector. And then obviously the microphone that is included. Uh, and then the price that you will get with this. Uh, what are some of the things I did not like about this um, or my I wishes? Uh, number one, it would be awesome if this would have some sort of small carrying case. This is designed to be portable. If it had a carrying case, even if it would cost like extra 10 or 20 bucks, I think that would have made this absolutely perfect. Um, some karaoke machines, they have an option for a second mic. If this had that, I think that would be also cool. I'm not sure if there is some sort of splitter you can use and get a second mic going, but by itself, there is no option for a second mic. Um, there is no remote if you want to turn this down or up, um, but you have nicely visible buttons at the top, but they're not backlit. Uh, and then finally, the video resolution is 720p. If it was 1080p, it would have made this absolutely perfect. But again, you gotta consider the price point you're in. If you do want something portable with outstanding video quality, uh, I did a video review of this projector, the P6X. Um, this thing is an extremely bright and good quality projector and it's 100% portable. You don't have to plug it in. You don't have to plug it into a power bank while playing. It has its own built-in battery. I'll put a link to this video somewhere at the top and at the bottom as well. Definitely check it out. But it costs more than double or maybe triple of what this thing is. So anyways, um, would I recommend this? At this price, I would say yes, because you're getting two things almost for the price of one. And hopefully I didn't miss anything else about this. If I did, I typically try to pin it in the comment section down below. So thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching this, you're a trooper. Don't forget to like this video and share it so your other friends can see it as well. If you got any questions for me, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.